Hello! Welcome to Go No Go Quickie, where I take a quick look at one of the new anime shows airing this season. And this one's a little different from all the other ones I've done, as most of the time I always talk about an anime that aired later in the season. But this is actually a first, as this is one that aired before any of the other big name shows appeared. For those who don't know, I'm talking about the Heike story. For the first anime of the season, this is something that would usually make or break a new show. And luckily, the Heike story is something I think some people will really enjoy, especially those who are big fans of animation by Sai and Sadu, the same people behind Azoken, Devilman Crybaby, and a few shorts from the Star Wars Vision series. The story is about a young girl named Biwa, who's taken in by the powerful Tyra clan, also known as the Heike. However, Biwa's also born with an inept ability where she can actually see the future of people through her right eye. However, she sees nothing but bloodshed, violence, and civil war between the family of the Heike. Now for a little more Japanese history for those who don't know, this is actually inspired by a 12th century epic tale known as Heike Monogatari. And honestly, I'm a little bit of a sucker for Japanese history and storytelling, mostly because, you know, I like that type of stuff. Considering that this story is about an entire family who practically owns the entire Japanese government and see how their downfall came to be over their own greed and lust for power, it's a pretty dynamic and in-depth story. We also get to know a lot of the characters within the Heike family. Biwa is pretty investing of a character mostly within her interactions with the members of the Heike clan and the potential futures that she could probably alter but she chooses not to on multiple occasions, leading to potential moments that could even and break her own heart as she actually gets to know these people more and more. One thing I will generally not be a big fan of is the fact that Biwa is living with the people who technically ruined her life. Biwa's father was actually killed by soldiers of the Heike clan. So she has a bit of a grudge between them until one of them actually adopts them. I mean, this could have turned into a short-lived revenge story if it wanted to. But the fact that Biwa becomes more part of the family over time makes the anime more endearing and heartbreaking when the fact that we know that there's a potential future that may or may not be altered, and Biwa is the key to that situation. I don't know if it's a proper adaptation of the tale of Heike Monogatari on account of I've never actually read it before, but if you're a fan of ancient Japanese culture, it's an anime I think you should go watch. The animation is incredibly good, the storytelling and character interactions are pretty in-depth, and it's leading to potential dark moments that could lead to some heartbreak. Let's hope that the rest of the fall anime season will be just as entertaining. And if you want to make sure to check on that, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.